implementing new mask mandates as COVID-19 cases surge yet again. He still wants all schools to require them, but he's not forcing them to do that. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland asked the governor about this today. Michael, why isn't he taking this step? Well, he pointed out that some school leaders are deciding for themselves to change their minds and to go ahead and require masks. State officials say about 75% of students now are in schools that are going to be requiring masks. Last week, Governor Cooper and state health officials sent a letter to school leaders urging them to follow their recommendation for everybody to be wearing masks in K-12 through schools. Even today, Dr. Mandy Cohen said the state needs all of them to do this. She said the state is seeing the fastest acceleration of cases since the pandemic started. So I asked the governor if the goal to get them all to wear masks, why is he not issuing a mandate to the ones that aren't following the recommendation? Why are you still so reluctant at this point to just tell them you have to do this? Well, first, I think you get more effective buy-in when it is done at the local level and decisions are being made at the local level, particularly now with all of the knowledge that we have. The governor also reiterated that he is still keeping all options on the table. The federal government also announced today the availability of booster shots for the general public starting next month. So coming up at 6, I'm going to have more on what preparations the state is making for that to roll out. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you. Wake